Hi, Mark with GoldenTicker.com. On Thursday, May the 24th, about 9.30 uh, Pacific time, markets are open. Uh, this is the GLD, the gold ETF, up about a third of a percent. We had a big uh, uh, couple of down days here on some very heavy volume here yesterday. And uh, getting a little bounce today, uh, gapped up at the open, and still within this channel line, uh, kind of hugging along this gray line here, which is the 10-day moving average. So possibly going to get some support here. And we have this lower channel line down here as well. Uh, we don't really know what the volume's going to be yet, but uh, I'm glad to see a little bit of a bounce. I'm glad to see a gap up at the open. Uh, so possibly we go back and try to take out this high here, 155.13. Uh, doing so would actually send this into a short-term um, uh, uptrend, which would be great. We can start attacking these moving averages here. Uh, first one will be the 21-day moving average coming in at 155.76. And the next one uh, is the 50-day moving average, the blue line, coming in at 159, I'm sorry, 158.59, 158.59. So uh, next stop hopefully will be taking out 155.13. But for now, gold is still in a downtrend, uh, a short-term and mid-term downtrend. And here's silver getting a similar type of a move after two heavy days of selling. And um, this uh, it's a little bit more volatile. This went up uh, one and a half percent on the SLV, the silver ETF, one and a half percent. Possibly gonna go after 2809. 2809. Uh, doing so would take us into a short-term uptrend as well. And of course, the next stop overhead, just like in the gold, will be the 21-day moving average at 2843. 2843. So let's see if we can get something going here on the gold and silver. like to see some uh, heavy volume uh, as we start to move up. That would be great. So possibly putting in some sort of a bottom down in here uh, in around the $26 range, hopefully. And now moving over to the NASDAQ composite, um, uh, down about a half a percent here. Uh, doing some tight trading here. Uh, put a bottom in here last week of 277.445, 277.445. Uh, that bottom came on some really heavy volume, which is actually a good sign because we had a reversal day the next day. And uh, we're now uh, sort of processing that big up move here. And uh, so kind of uh, uh, trading in a nice little range here. Made a higher high today than yesterday. That's a good sign. Getting stuck here at this gray line, the 10-day moving average. Uh, but uh, uh, hopefully we're building some kind of a little base here that we can vault up off of and take uh, on these moving averages here. We got the 100-day, the green dotted line, uh, very strong uh, 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 point of overhead resistance to get through. Uh, the uh, red line, the 21-day moving average, is now going to slice that uh, later today, possibly, or tomorrow. Um, so uh, uh, that will actually be our first stop here, will be the 21-day moving average, uh, coming in in about the 29-25 range. So let's see what happens here uh, on, the, on the NASDAQ. Um, uh, you know, this is a good sign that we've been kind of doing some tight trading here. And... Uh, uh, used the 200-day moving average, this black dotted line, as a point of support. That's what it appears to be right now. So let's see what happens. And looking at the bigger cap, uh, S&P 500, this is the SPY, down a quarter percent, uh, got turned away here at the gray line, the 10-day moving average. Same kind of story, put in a nice, uh, a very heavy uh, a volume uh, 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 low here at 129.55, 129.55. Uh, actually, that big volume there shows a lot of shares tra traded hands, possibly shaking out uh, uh, some of the weaker sellers here. So now we're getting a bounce. Uh, we did pull back, uh, uh, and the low did not take out this previous low here. So good sign here. Uh, building something here. Uh, hopefully we can have a springboard to start attacking these overhead moving averages, just like on the NASDAQ. And let's look now at the small caps. This is the Russell 2000. Um, uh, ETF here, uh, put in a low down here, 745.71, which was actually underneath the 200-day moving average. So uh, a bit more of volatility in the small caps. Uh, um, it's pretty much uh, normal for them. Uh, hard pullback here. And uh, now building some kind of a, a, of a tight uh, a trading range here, just like in the other bigger indexes, getting turned away at the 10-day moving average. So they're all sort of doing the same thing here. Um, uh, trying to put something together here, getting stuck around the 10-day moving average with a lot of overhead resistance up ahead. So stocks, precious metals, still in downtrends, possibly putting in some sort of a base here they can launch off of. And uh, things can change very rapidly here. We can get ourselves into a short-term uptrend very quickly. 
and certainly if we start taking out some key moving averages, uh, this market could turn around and look a whole lot better. And let's take a look at Apple, uh, you know, one of the true growth leaders here. And uh, interesting action here, um, uh, put in the bottom here, uh, came down, really tested the 100-day uh, moving average, uh, never got uh, uh, to close below that, good sign. Uh, came down, touched it, had a big up day, um, uh, reversal uh, the following day here, great sign. And now we're following through. Um, it had a higher high today. Um, and uh, um, let's see, we came in at 576.50, 576.50. That did take out this previous break low, 575.88. So I'm calling Apple in a short-term uptrend and uh, possibly going to take on this blue line, the 50-day moving average, which is at 589.58, 589.58. Certainly starting to close above that, key moving average will be very, very bullish and uh, will make this base that Apple's forming look a whole lot better. Still too early, in my opinion, to uh, to take this, uh, you know, to go long, uh, since the markets are in a downtrend, have not followed through and confirmed. So uh, Apple building a nice base here, uh, got a little bit of accumulation in it too. So let's see what happens with Apple. Looking at another big cap um, leader, this is Mastercard, uh, which is one of the leaders of this last rally here. Had a nice uh, pullback here, testing the 100-day uh, moving average. Uh, on a uh, very precipitous drop here. Uh, had a nice reversal day here on Monday. And today we came up and actually touched that 50-day moving average. We have a convergence of the 50 and the 21 here and have pulled back here. But uh, uh, four up days here uh, so far and uh, making an assault on that. It's okay we get turned away a little bit and possibly regroup and see if it can uh, springboard up. So uh, MasterCard uh, looking impressive here uh, up off the bottom. Uh, definitely some buying going on here. So uh, markets so showing some signs of some interest here. Um, a little too early, like I said. Let's see what happens. Another big cap leader, Priceline.com, same story. Uh, testing the 100-day moving average, uh, coming up off of it. Uh, had a little accumulation down here. No real big up volume here uh, so far on this move up, but uh, uh, some tight trading here, uh, possibly uh, uh, setting up a springboard to get up uh, and test this 50-day moving average. So, um, you know, things looking better. Uh, uh, could be forming a nice base here. We'll just have to wait and see. So there you go, uh, stock's still in the downtrend, the precious metal's still in downtrends, but uh, things are starting to look a little better, and this could, uh, could pan out. Of course, uh, you know, uh, bad news could come out uh, of Europe again or whatever. The black swans are flying right now, and uh, this could deteriorate. So let's just watch it. We take it a day at a time. We're looking for a follow-through day, uh, and, uh, and see if we can get that and, uh, and send these markets back into an uptrend. Okay, thanks for listening.